All right, so here we're going to do the eye. I will, I'm using a little bit of uh, some yellow, well, white with a little hint of, of yellow. Now by doing this, you will get some overspray, but uh, we'll just take care of that later. All right, so I went ahead and did both eyes. And this one will just make it look, uh, well, both of them will be nice and bloodshot. So let's get going. All right, to get a nice circle in there, normally, you, would, you know, I would use a, a washer. But it's kind of hard to get it in there. <clears throat> so I just uh, drew the circle on a piece of paper. Well, actually, photo paper. And uh, that will help a lot better. So let's get the beginning of the eye. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of white. I said white, didn't I? Okay, I meant yellow. I'm add a little bit more dark yellow here. All right, now we're going to make all kinds of little wiggly things. Actually, forgot the pupil, so let's get the pupil in there. I'm doing a lighter yellow right now. The first little lines were whiter, and now it's a different tone of yellow. And I'm throwing them into the pupil. Darker yellow towards the middle. Can I have a little bit of darker green, almost black, and just adding little things in there. So here's with the eye. Now we need the epoxy to make it pop. Again, five minute epoxy. And what I like to do is add a little bit more on the iris area. To give it more depth. So I build it up a little bit. Try not to get too many air bubbles. And there we have it. But we have to make sure it doesn't, you know, start going backwards. So you just kind of tilt it and then back and so forth until it dries. Okay, so uh, this eye obviously I put the uh, epoxy on, but it does look it does look too fresh so we need to make it look a little bit more old and kind of you know fucked up just adding a little bit red tones to the bottom part we're gonna add a little yellowish to the eye And we'll add some more epoxy. There you go. Okay, on this side we're going to do the same color except we're going to see if we can make it kind of like a uh, milky white where you can see the color but very subtly. So we'll see if that works. Okay, so we did the same thing we did with the first eye. Then we're going with some darker browns. Here I'm doing a little bit of gray. 
and I'll go back in with the darker color to do more of the crevices in there. Alright, so now what we're going to do is make these teeth. Now, uh, I'm not going to use these because I'm actually going to mold this and mold the bottom, well, this is the top, and make them out of acrylic. Alright, so here I am with my ghetto mold. Again, um, I didn't show the process of making it because, I mean, you've seen it already in the other videos. I've already opened it up, but just to give you an idea, you know, here it is. Um, so these are the original teeth and tongue. Uh, while the other one dries, um, I'm going to work on these guys. And what I'm going to do is just mix up some dental acrylic teeth color and put them in the teeth area. And then the gums. Alright, so I'm going to use some uh, acrylic, dental acrylic number 65, which is kind of like a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little yellowish on there. Kind of like my teeth in a way. So uh, that will work. And then mix it up with uh, the monomer. So this is the powder, and here is the liquid. I recommend you use a mask because this is not good to breathe. I actually have a uh, fan blowing the fumes away from me. Open garage. Okay, so we have that nice and liquidy. It's okay if you go over because I will be grinding all the excess out. Alright, so this is dry. So we get these molars out. And see all the uh, flashing? We want to get rid of that. It's kind of thin, so you can kind of break it off, but uh, let's do one tooth at a time. Sometimes scissors are okay. Now instead of putting it back in here, I just want to make sure the mold is clean so, so I don't lose or figure, don't know where they go. I just put them here in order. Alright, after cleaning the teeth, putting the last one in here. And they're all set. So now we are going to mix up the uh, acrylic, which is the gum color, and pour it in. Now it's the same thing, the difference is it has a pink color. Okay, first we want to make sure we get it into all the nice little areas. Close the mold here. Okay, so I took them out of the mold and to clean them up, here they are. Okay, well, so what I did is I drilled a hole right down his throat, filled it up with some foam in there, and I'm just going to try to make it look like, you know, the throat goes down in there instead of just painting it black in the back. Alright, so here I started carving out the throat. Alright, so right now we're just going to add a little bit of <clears throat> different tones in the tongue. Alright, we have the uh, gums in there getting glued in. Then we'll add a little bit more color and then add some more of the acrylic right even back in there and smooth that out. Okay, so now we're just going to add some color away in there now that the uh, acrylic has dried. 
All right, so here we have them, and actually that looks pretty gross. But we're gonna add some more of the uh, blood, and add a little bit on here, some drool. All right, and you can see right down his throat. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see, get get the light. That's a hole down there, so that's kind of cool. You can see right down his throat. Hell yeah! Now we're going to do some drool. Now remember, this was five minute epoxy mixed with the blood 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 uh, blood gel. And now I'm mixing just regular uh, five minute epoxy with a little hint of purple mixed in, just a little dab, just enough to knock it down so it doesn't turn yellow. And we will be doing the drool. This is this takes a while because it keeps dripping down and you want to make sure it doesn't drip all the way off and just keep working it until it stops flowing and then we'll do another batch and keep doing it. This is tricky because you have to kind of work it so when it's about to set you stretch it. Well, at least that's what I do. And here we have it guys. Pretty cool. Alright guys, so here's the finished wolf. I'm noticing there's certain parts that look light and I think it's the lighting in the camera. But uh, when you see it a little darker, that's that's what it is. Anyway, so actually, as I get closer, it looks more to the original color. But here's the gory stuff. Very cool. The drool. The blind eyeball. The brains. And whatever that crap is coming out of there. Let's see if I can zoom in on. You can see the translucency of the skin. All those little veiny things helps. And there's nothing like acrylic teeth. It's way cool. Same stuff for dentures. And there's inside his mouth. A nice hole way in there. Let me tilt them a little bit. Check them out better. Yeah. Alright guys, well, see you next time and hope you learned something.